You will know no hope. You will know no happiness. You will know no love. Neither will you, Princess Avila. For the murder of our father. Eros, please. You know that I didn't do this. But no other horse will believe that. I say when we catch him, whoever takes his head clean off claims most of the ransom. Lift that finger and send a single thread through the stairs. You're part of the Keldricks. Am I in Thorndick? It's your lucky day, blind colt. You've run into the single Keltrix unit that doesn't kill intruders on sight. They're coming with us. You are a rat, Lucas Terrathin. You better get to spilling my secrets before you're eaten alive by your own plague. If you make me King's Hoof, your allegiances will span across Elkir. I have a suitor for you who will unite you with the Easterlands. This arrangement comes with a dangerous title. The Black's Veil throne or more Katana Sheeran's body. I am no pawn. I'm the Queen. Maybe you can answer me this, before I kill you and send your head to the crown as a fuck you! Where is my sister? My lady... Princess Kalina was executed by House Falcon. I'm so sorry. The monster who they used to mutilate me. Take my face... I want you to kill it. How beautiful eyes, like my sweet sister's. <laughs> you forfeited the honor of calling my mother your sister. You're nothing but a traitor to your blood. 
a shadow cast over the loyalty of House Ephraim. I heart for you, Avila Shirin. A mother's grief is an unmatched pain. But this realm belongs to the stallions of no heart. Fight this, as the mares of your blood have tried. In the end, they may take what they give as they please. Stallions will not break me as they've broken you. Sweet Avila, the delicate flower, born with the persistence of a Shirin, without your house's strength. A princess who lacks a hero in her darkest hour stands little chance. Viram Galric demands your body suspended from the gallows of Darkfront within the fortnight. He wanted to be sure your last sight would not be the familiar walls of Ravensdale. I will see Ravensdale again when I bring the stallions who've ravaged my family to justice. They know not the courage of a mare who won't be conquered. The stallions have rung the bells of war, Avila. If you're not to wear a funeral gown, you'd best find a suit of armor. Heat the forge. <laughs> if only in a different life, we'd have met under more fortunate circumstances. When you greet her, you're to bow before her, even with the veil between you. Give your respects to her brothers during the banquet. We're to treat them as our honored guests. And they shall bow to me. And they shall. You'll address her as my queen, as she soon to be. How fortunate she'll be to receive from you all the marvels of the realm. Your horses will delight in the passionate union of southern lands and easter lands. You're giving her the honor of your mating for the love of your realm and your love for her. Did you love my father? My darling. Love wears a crown of thorns. A crown that belongs to us. Don't let House Alora forget how grateful they should be to our family. My apologies for startling you from your poetry, my lord. <laughs> it's only an invitation for my mare. To your nephew's royal mating. Do you play? I've won my fair share, yes. I always found my favorite way to checkmate an opponent was with a king and queen. You did retrieve me to welcome the Aloras. Yes, Variant? Yes, my lord. 
Perhaps we'll save our match for another time. It is the allure tradition of their Welkin religion that the stallion and mare aren't to lay eyes upon one another until their mating ceremony. The first time I'll see her face is before the eyes of every noble in my kingdom. Tradition is not something the Alluras are known to dismantle. This is what is expected of your arrangement. I can assure you, her beauty is something the stallions of Elkir sing songs of. A final request. <coughs> more. Proper mating arrangements are much more detailed by both parties than your alliance with Katana Shirin, your grace. The queen will be accompanied by a large party to court. Her brothers and waiting horses will make themselves at home in your capital for quite some time. I'm not mating a family. Only the mare. Yes, your mating is with Kaliri. But you are aligning with House Allura. Playing gracious host to her siblings will only win you their favors. Your grace. <laughs> Your queen is ready for you. It's a great pleasure to meet you, my queen. Your grace, how captivating your homeland is. I trust my family has made you comfortable. Yes, your grace. They've been so kind in welcoming us. Good, good. <laughs> Tell me, my queen, what is tradition to you? Passed down through generations of family I've only heard stories of. It is the foundation of every great feat of House Alora. Come closer. No Alora in history has ever been faced with such an opportunity to mate into the crown. I say, fuck tradition. Meet me in the gardens, at the moon's highest peak. I want to see your beautiful face before we live as one. So, how many swords does he have? Probably more than I do. I only have three. He prefers the one he calls Foxthorn. But seeing as he is the king, he'll tell you every sword in the kingdom was forged for his hooves. Wow. <laughs> I think I just saw the library. There are at least 50 books in there. Try upwards of 11,000. Do you know of any on the Brothers of Snow? The Brothers of Snow. Fables of my foolhood. I do believe we have a copy of Snakes, Dogs, and Gold. I'll have to find it for you, but I can tell you, it'll keep you up at night. Your grace? My queen. Forgive me, I've never beheld such beauty. <laughs> As have I. What strange tradition? to never see the face of your mate until your ceremony. The Aloras say it builds a mating upon the love of the soul. I suppose it doesn't hurt to see the eyes along with the soul, but between you and me, my mother would likely throw me to the dogs if she saw me now. <laughs> your mother has little say, seeing as you're to be queen of the realm. <laughs> my mother has little to say anyhow. She's been dead quite some time. I'm... So sorry. <laughs> no, no apologies necessary. She lived her fullest life. I lost my father not long ago. 
though he didn't live to his fullest, he lived his greatest. I shall be the king he always dreamed I would become. I can see them now, watching down over us, in awe and splendor. Their foals ascending as the most powerful horses in the kingdom. Hopefully your mother isn't spitting on us for our broken tradition. <laughs> By this time tomorrow, we'll be mated before the kingdom. Stallion and mare, forever. A celebration like this will only occur once in your lifetime. Tell me, when you were Princess Caleria Laura, how did you dream this day would be? <laughs> My brother would give me away to you. <laughs> I'd see you there, in your crown. And for the first time, I would feel true love. We'll exchange our words of honor before all who love us. In life, you shall hold my heart till the day of its last beat. The night it falls still, you shall hold my soul. And, and even, even in, in death, death we, we shall, shall remain, remain complete. complete. And what of the banquet? Oh, love, the banquet. <laughs> A harp player. Heavenly melodies, written by angels that we'll share our first dance to. Perhaps even your uncle will grace us with a story of his heroism. And then my mighty friend roared, I never want to be a king! <laughs> and by the end of the night, I presume we'll find ourselves in your chambers. For a night we will never forget. I shall give you the most royal mating day you've only seen in your dreams. Queen Kaleri of House Falcon. My lady. Shut up. My family. Shut up! When I was young. When we were young, my sister fell in love. She was promised to Firim Gelric when a knight's cult named Aravex stole her heart. My father would sentence him to die for deflowering her before Lord Gelric could. She dried my tears as I cried for her, and she told me, Sweet sister, the only war worth your life is love. This is now my war. My war against your family. For her, and her love. Falcons butchered those who swore their swords to my sister and I. They enslaved the mares who raised us. They massacred the foals who grew up alongside House Denrock and burned our banners. Kalina and I were to be the queens who brought sincere tranquility to our kingdom. Your family turned our lives to ruins, and the lives of those who believed in us. And for what? Another castle? I hope sunlight glimmers in Denrock marble under falcon hooves. For power. That's all it ever is, isn't it? If it's vengeance you seek, I'll be your gateway. No, it's more than vengeance. I want blood and heads. And I'll begin with you. I can protect you, take you home. I'm done with sworn swords and heroes vowing to safeguard the lost princess. I'm the last, Denrak. I am the rightful queen of Sun Lake.
put your hooves in here. There you're in it. You're a prisoner of House Denruk. On behalf of the crimes of your family, you'll accompany me to Sun Lake to await the Queen's justice, and you will be sentenced to die. How sad. You've spent your adult life chasing retribution for my crimes, and there you are. In a cell that should belong to me. You're meant to be with the Shadow Brigade. I was, for a time. But there's no place like home. I had unfinished business on our island. <sighs> I'll be leaving now, Raya. Then go, Hearth. I'll turn over every rock you hide under on the mainland until you're brought to our family's justice. You seem to have faith our dear brother won't execute you for my crimes. The Mentiths do take pride in burying traitors. And one day, I'll bury you. Whatever lies you must tell yourself to stay Mentith gold, sister. I'm not alone in contriving your downfall. Vengeance awaits you in Elkir, Hearth Menteth. Do you really think that was you? No, Emmett. They're looking for a different horse with my exact description, also named Catrix Caldwell. I mean, they must be. What could you mean to the crown anyway? Melanie? Your sister will be happy to know you've made it back once again. <clears throat> this is Emmett and Catrix. They traveled with me to be sure I made it home safe. Guys, this is- Kate. How thoughtful of you to protect Mel on her mission. It's actually more of a mutual protection agreement. Yeah, we're also on a mission. I thought I'd invite them to camp for a night while they're passing through Dapple Gray. Any friend of Mel's is a friend of the Defiance. Besides, we have a liking for outsiders. Hunters have been here the past two nights, looking for you. What have you told them? You found a different herd. We call ourselves the Defiance. We don't fight the petty wars of false kings, only that of the common horses. The real war of food, water, medicine. The war of survival. I can see we share our battles. Catrix and I are on an adventure. We're trying to find my brother. An admirable quest. Did you find anything? Not this time, Claire. <laughs> she has snake strangle. I've seen a Keltrix cult born with it. Something constricts inside them. They leak red, but find relief with hair's hide. We gave it daily to the cult until the hunts for it became too time consuming. Then we stopped. All of his red just leaked out. But we make do for her. Mel raids nearby camps, lifts hair's hide off merchants, whatever she needs to do for who she loves. Make yourselves at home before your adventure. 
Caleb makes a carrot stew to die for. King Denric the Deranged brought down his shadowy axe, the head of our hero Erevix tumbling down the great marble stairs. Those before us flocked to his father with flaming swords. They bowed to Belos and destruction of House Denrock. Vengeance, Vengeance for, for Erevex the Lionheart. <laughs> One day, Keltrix of Thornthick shall lay in ruins, and we will be Keltrix of Sunlake, as those before us vowed. Lion Unit brought a guest to hear our story. Do be polite, Delira, and introduce your friend. He's from no houses or lands. He's called Kendant. I'll be speaking to Bellos about his recruitment. Of course, you will be. Lion Unit does tend to fall short on recruits than the rest. Perhaps because they've forgotten the first precedent of Keltrick's code. Outsider hearts don't be in Thornthick. Yes. Maywind and I will see to it that Lion Unit are punished for breach of code. This was her command. Since when do you two choose punishments for Bellows? <laughs> this wasn't their decision to make. Of course not. As head of Lion Unit, you made your choice to jeopardize them in exchange for Kendon's life. Run along to Bellows then, Delira. You know he won't disagree with our authority. Delira! Don't touch him, bitch. You told us this was on you. What is it this time, little one? You've taken another one, Delira. His name is Kendon. He's of no lands. Do you recall the recruits line unit has so kindly taken in over your time here? They were loyal cults. And they don't last. Court, Kestrel, Emmett. I remember their names, Delira. Keltrick's cults do not come and go unless they've found themselves in lion unit. Kendon is different. You can't even see. The rest of my foals seem to be growing wary that I have a favorite. If only she didn't continue to slip up after being granted so many chances. Allow me to train him. I'll prove myself to you. I'll turn him into the best recruit the Keltrix have seen. Sir, I have no family. No home to call my own. Every horse needs somewhere to lay their loyalties. Holy mine. With her. I do hope your unit continues to forgive you for these... instances. If I see him so much as trip over his hooves, I'll have his pyre prepared. Yes, yes sir. sir.
need to get out of here. I haven't done what you've asked of me. I take it back. <laughs> you can't kill a bear. Get back. The dog! I love you, brother. Shut the fuck up, Roach. Fifteen seconds until that door gives, and nothing stands between us and that. <laughs> so we hold it. We don't die like bitches today. <laughs> hey. This fight is you and me, remember? Is it just me, or does this filly keep getting more insane? <laughs> much more trouble than you're worth, little filly. Snakes in the gun!